Portgas D Ace. Just a warning. I'm not making this video to be a contrarian or the opposite of what's popular, but he is my least favorite character in all of One Piece. I wouldn't say like he's the most despicable character in all of fiction, but when it comes to One Piece, he's definitely the worst one. Like there's no question for me. Portgas D Ace is the son of Gold D Roger and the adopted brother of Monkey D Luffy. He is a very prominent character in the series who for some reason only appeared in two major arcs and yet is still talked about to this very day. And his death is the one that developed the main character the most out of anybody which is understandable because not only was that his brother but death in of itself is rare within the series. There are several reasons as to why he Portgas D Ace and I will be listing them in this video. Reason number one, if you think about it, every single decision that he made across the whole entire series was really driven by something that a lot of people would deem as brave but if you really look at it deeper it was just pure stupidity. Now I get it where like several of the characters including Luffy himself like to ram and charge into things somehow still end up coming out on top but that doesn't always work and that's okay we all like some flawed characters however that stupidity along with the other traits I will be listing that combination alone makes it so that it's hard for me to even digest or want to accept that what he's doing is pure bravery. Number two he is inconsiderate and his decisions were simply made out of self-interest. Every time he makes a decision he makes them without thinking about how that would affect other people around him except for that one time the single time that this occurred was at Banaro Island where Blackbeard wanted to go after Luffy which gave Ace even more of a reason to stop Blackbeard and actually probably getting involved in the whole Baroque Works event at Alabasta. He probably didn't need to do that he probably wasn't gonna do that until he saw that Luffy needed some form of assistance but still he still didn't stay for that. If you think about it there's several times where this occurs across the city due to his own pride and ego he didn't care about the fact that his adopted father Edward Newgate known as Whitebeard had asked him not to go after Blackbeard a fellow crewmate who had killed another crewmate Thatch on their ship. Whitebeard was pleading with him the other Whitebeard pirates were pleading with him Ace don't go after this guy we know he broke the one rule but do not go after him it's gonna give all of us a lot of trouble. Ace did not even care he did not consider yeah sure you could say it was made out of love for his other crewmate are you not considering what they're saying you're not thinking here you're gonna cause a lot of trouble you're gonna start a war well he probably didn't know that at the time and that's not something that the other white beard pirates are trying to go through but you're forcing them through it despite all of that he did not care he was not listening to them he was not having it he only thought about what he wanted and that was it he tries to murder Whitebeard what does he do Newgate comes grabs Ace yeah sure he was rough about it instead of retaliating on the child he takes Ace aboard the ship feeds him he shelters him he rests him and he allows him to be a part of the family as one of his sons what does Ace do in return he doesn't care his pride and ego is too strong despite all of the kindness that Whitebeard has offered him still tries to kill him. just goes to show you how strong his pride and ego is earlier in his childhood he's over here crying and having an existential crisis about how the whole world hates him for being the son of roger i thought the world didn't know that you were the son of roger and i thought that that was a top secret kept only by guard how would random idiots and bandits at a bar know that you're the son of roger to then bully you about it people left and right are offering you kindness instead of throwing you on the streets a legend in the ranks of the marines takes you in and makes you a part of his family as one of his own grandsons but you don't see anything from that you have a brother that loves you more than anything in the world ever since he first met you he's trying to be friends with you he wants to be your friend he wants to be a part of your life but instead of recognizing that your ego is too big to the point where it doesn't allow you to see the kindness that people are offering to you and it just makes it so that you only sulk in your own pathetic existence moving over to the next point he didn't care about the fact that luffy his little brother went to hell and back for him luffy invaded impel down an inhumane max security prison full of atrocities fought all sorts of demons such as awakened zoe and demon guards as well as the deadly warden magellan and almost died from poisoning while starting a prison riot and entering a war zone for him in the process how could you like somebody like this how is this character fan favorite worthy why would anybody cry for him despite witnessing his little brother struggling through marine fort the war of all wars fighting through hordes of soldiers clearly the weakest one countering warlords including mihawk as well 
well as directly facing the three admirals. He still is not able to show his gratitude to his little brother for rescuing him and decides to simply throw his life away due to a mere insult. A mere insult. As Luffy and Ace were finally running away, Akainu taunts him. He just taunts him as if they're on a schoolyard. Ace, the ungrateful brother that never listens to his crew, never listens to his little brother and never shows any gratitude, decides while taking everything into consideration after witnessing everything that he did, despite seeing what everybody went through for him, starting a war countless deaths all for him despite knowing all of that he takes it all into consideration and is like thanks but no thanks he throws it all away for nothing throws his life away and goes back to fight a kainu a fight he knew he and everybody knew he could never win that was his own fault that act was seen as noble and brave as if he was saving luffy's life as if he was protecting him but really luffy would never have needed protecting had ace never thrown his life away and fought a kainu before shedding tears for a character like this think twice about whether they're worthy of such tears or not thank you for watching like and subscribe and enjoy the rest of your day